So now it's about the full way rectifiers. So the half way rectifier efficiency was less. So it was somewhat 40 percentage because it was the conduction takes place only in the half cycles. So means during the positive half cycle. So better rectifier arrangement would make use of both positive and negative half cycle. So that is done by the full way rectifier. So in the full way rectifier, uh, the conduction takes place in both the cycles, positive as well as a negative half cycles. So, uh, the considerable improvement will be there in efficiency as well as amount of ripples over their halfway counterparts. So, they are not only more efficient but are significantly less demanding in terms of reservoir and smoothing components. Uh, there are two basic forms of full wave rectifiers. As we know, it is biphase type and one more is a bridge rectifier type. So, biphase type uses center tapped transformer. The bridge, way, uh, bridge rectifier type uses a normal, means ordinary transformer, like halfway rectifier. So, first we'll see the biphase rectifier circuits. It is also called as a center tapped full way rectifier. There is a use of two diodes here, D1 and D2. And center tapped transformer in, uh, input to the primary winding is 220 volt to 240 volt. That will be stepped down to 12 volt by using the step down transformer. Since it is a center tapped transformer, the uh, voltage across the secondary winding comes as V2, 0, V2. V2 is 12 volt, means voltage across the secondary winding. So, figure shows the 240 volt is applied to the primary of the step down transformer, which has two identical secondary winding, means the voltage across the upper winding is 12 volt. Same, the lower winding is also 12 volt. Uh, and uh, the number of turns is N1 here and N2 here. So, this is about the structure of uh, center tapped full wave rectifiers. So, now we'll see what happens during the positive half cycle and during the negative half cycle. How the efficiency is improved when compared to the half wave rectifier. So, during positive half cycle, what happens during the positive half cycle is polarity across the primary winding here it will be plus, here it is minus. Same voltage will be induced in the secondary winding too. Since it is plus here, even the polarity comes here is a plus and a minus in this. So, with respect to the plus, the voltage means polarity across the, this B will be minus and since it is minus, here it comes plus. Uh, if you check during the positive half cycle, the diode D1 conducts because positive polarity is co connected to the anode of the diode D1. Here, the negative polarity is connected to the anode of D2. So, D1 will be forward biased and D2 will be reverse biased means D1 will be on and D2 will be off. So, if we check the uh, connection, connectivity uh, means about the current flow. So, the current flows from minus to plus across the secondary winding and then across the diode D1 and then across the load RL and back to the secondary winding B. So, this, is, this acts as a closed loop. So, it means the current flows through this loop. The current flows across the RL Therefore, the current is not equal to 0 and the output voltage VO is I into RL. Means during the positive half cycle, out of two diodes D1 and D2, D1 conducts and current is not 0. Current flows through the RL and VO is equal to I into RL. So, now during the negative half cycle, during the negative half cycle of the input, since it is a negative, the polarity here is minus and here it is plus. Same voltage will be induced here, minus and plus. Since this is minus, polarity here will be plus. And since this is plus, polarity comes here is minus. So, now we have to check whether the circuit acts as a closed loop or an open loop. So, if we check the connection, connectivity, minus and plus, the current flows in this way across the secondary winding from minus to plus and across the diode D2 because the plus is connected with the anode of this. So, D2 will be forward biased and minus polarity connected to the anode of the diode D1. So, D1 will be reverse biased means this is open, this is closed. So, now the current flow comes like minus to plus and then diode D2 and then it flows like this and across the RL and back to the secondary winding. So, th this acts as a closed loop. So, the current flows through RL. 
Therefore, current is not equal to 0. V is equal to I into RL. So, in both the cases, current flows through the RL. There is a conduction during positive half cycle as well as during negative half cycle. But what happens with the current direction across R? Is it same or different? If we check here, during positive half cycle, the current through the RL is same as the current through RL in the negative half cycle. Means, we get the output voltage here positive even here it is positive output voltage because the current through the RL is same. Even we can check in this waveform here. So, during positive half cycle, the output voltage is positive. Even during negative half cycle, the output voltage is positive because the current through the RL is same as the previous cases. So, this is the output waveform without capacitor. So, during positive half cycle, out of two diodes D1 conducts and during negative half cycle, out of two diodes D2 conducts. In both the cases, current flows and the output is not zero. Means, in both the cycles, we are getting output all day. So, it is called as a full wave rectifier. Center tap, full wave rectifier. So, now we are going to discuss about reservoir and smoothing or filter circuits. So, the capacitor is connected parallel to the load resistance RL. So, across the capacitor, we will get the ripple voltage. Uh, as we know, during positive half cycle, the current flows through RL. Even during negative half cycle, current flows through the RL. Means, there will be a current through capacitors too. So, capacitor charges whenever there is a current flow through that and discharges when there is no current. Means, here the capacitor charges from little maximum, means threshold, means the voltage across the capacitor should be greater than the voltage appears across it. So, the capacitor charges till the peak and when the voltage decreases, the capacitor starts discharges until the next maximum. So, the capacitor charges and discharges here, again charges and discharges. Even here, the charging time is less compared to the discharging time. And across the capacitor, we get the ripple voltages. So, this is the unregulated output voltage. And next is bridge rectifier. So, this type of rectifier uses bridge circuit. So, in the bridge, there will be four arms. The diodes are connected in such a way, out of four diodes, two diodes will be forward biased and two diodes will be reverse biased based on the half cycle. So, here there are four junctions. This upper junction and lower junction will be connected to the second rewinding and this minus and plus will be connected to the load resistance. So, this is the structure, mean circuit diagram of bridgeway rectifier. It uses ordinary transformer, step down transformer. Input to this is 220 to 240 volt. That will be stepped down to 12 volt because of step down transformer. And this secondary winding is connected to the upper junction and the lower junction. These two junctions are connected to the load resistance RL. So now, during positive half cycle, what about the conduction of diodes? So during positive half cycle of the input, the polarity here is plus and here it is minus. Same polarity will be induced here, plus and minus. This plus will be connected to the diode D1 means anode of diode D1 like this structure. So, the plus if it is plus polarity that will be connected to the anode of the diode D1. Here there is a cathode means D1 will be on and D4 is off. Here the connection comes as polarity comes as minus. Minus will be connected to cathode here anode here means D2 will be on. So, D1 and D2 will be forward biased and D3 and D4 will be reverse biased. So, we will check the connection, current flow, means whether the current, whether the circuit acts as an open circuit or a closed circuit. So, we will see the direction of current. So, from minus to plus, here there is a current flow and then across a diode D1 and then across a load resistance RL and Towards the secondary winding, it flows like this and diode D2 and back to the secondary winding. So, the connection is a closed one, means the current flow is there across the RL. This acts as a closed circuit. But the current 
flow is because of uh, two diodes is on and during the negative half cycle during negative half cycle the polarity here is minus and here it will be plus minus and plus here across the secondary winding minus will be connected to cathode of diode d4 cathode of diode d4 if it is a minus here minus will be connected to cathode of d4 and here if it is plus then d3 ka anode will be connected d2 will be in a off state so out of four diodes d4 and d3 will be on and d1 and d2 will be off now we'll check the connection connectivity so minus to plus so current flows in this direction minus to plus and then here d3 across d3 and across rl and then diode d4 and back to secondary winding so this acts as a closed loop means the current flows in this loop even the current flows through rl resistor load resistor so the current is not zero therefore output voltage is i into rl and if we check the direction of current in both the cases it's same plus and minus even plus and minus so we'll get the output voltage like this during positive half cycle the output voltage is positive and during negative half cycle also the output is positive the same cycle repeats and same next reservoir and smoothing circuit means with the capacitor filter so the capacitor will be connected across rl so we can see the charging and discharging so the waveform is similar to the previous one using two diodes and even this without capacitor also the waveform is same because it's a full wave rectifier the difference is the number of diodes and complexity in the biphase circuit there is a use of two diodes so it is little complex compared to half wave but here it is use of four diodes that also bridge circuit so the circuit is complexity and efficiency here is 80 percentage so the ripple is less comparatively to the halfway rectifiers so the waveform comes same for biphase as well as bridge rectifier only the difference is in the structure and the number of diodes which connects in each half cycle